ya hace un mes que estoy aquí y donde tenemos todo, ¿no? la comida, los cuartos, donde dormimos, donde entrenamos. Voy a estar un poquito a vosotros, la, la más conocida como prisión 1. Ven conmigo. Aquí tenemos dos celdas. La celda 1 está ahí, donde estaba Balú, Mira estaba la... Rafael Cordero, estaban todos ahí. Hey. Babalú es el, el jefe de la celda 1. El que más aguantó ha sido Babalú. El frío. <risa> el frío. Hay para dormir mucho la gente. Está bien, es muy simple, pero sí está bien. Vamos a ver si está dormido, a ver cómo está. Celda 2. Celda 2. Perdón, 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 perdón. Solo para enseñar la celda 2. Sorry. Ahí ya so, ese es el rudo con su equipo, con todos aquí. Pero solo para el inverno. Muy para que bon. muy tubo bon. <ríe> sí es el número dos aquí donde entrenamos adaptamos un tatami y aquí está el tatami aquí entrenamos aquí estuvo mucho entrenamiento esta pared de aquí la pared de ahí está está ahora está arreglada pero hemos roto la pared se fue hacia adentro la pared sí aquí sí aquí es la la celda Tres, pero VIP, VIP celda. <ríe> aquí estamos, yo duermo aquí, yo aquí me tumbo aquí y aquí estoy viendo las, las peleas de Caín Velázquez, ¿no? Para estudiarle. Aquí estamos en una altitud de 3300, vamos arriba que está a 3800, entonces me gusta estar aquí. El 13 de junio va a ser una gran pelea contra Caín Velázquez y yo estoy seguro que voy a ganar a Caín Velázquez. No es prepotencia, es confianza. Yo tengo mucha confianza porque aquí estoy entrenando muy fuerte. La gente no cree que yo le puedo ganar a Caín Velázquez, pero yo estoy seguro de esto. Y como le gané a Fedor una vez y nadie creía, y ahora voy a demostrar una vez más por qué tengo ese esfuerzo de estar aquí. Hey, how you doing? Hola. ¿Cómo está? And then, you make, and then you have uh, Javier Mendez. Make a conscious effort to. We're here in Mexico you City. Speak Spanish, man. We got a nice view out there. We're just getting ready to head out and go train. I'm gonna blow up your bathroom real quick. Sorry, Luke's been having a little trouble with the food out here <laughs> for a while. Actually, just, you know, just a lot of coffee. I love my, my yeah, Latin American, you know. <laughs> it's nice. You know we'll probably hear everything that, that you're doing in there. Welcome to the show. You know, Kane is uh, extremely, you know, ecstatic. Happy as can be that he's finally getting the opportunity to fight in Mexico where he's always wanted to fight. You know, the first time was a really a sad moment for him and this time around he, he's really happy. Very, very, very happy. 100% healthy and he's ready to go out and perform for the, for the fans. Thank you. There's a tongue twister. I'll give you guys one. There's three kings and you got to try to say the three kings names as fast as you can. First one. Is Owa. What's the first king's name? The second king's name is Tayas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the last king's name is Siam. So to say it all together. Owa, Owa, Tayas, Siam. Owa, Tayas, Siam. I told Kane we need to come down early because to get used to the altitude. He said no. Uh, he's fine. He's trained when he's here before. And he's fine. And I said, you know, I kept pushing the issue, and uh, basically he gave in, uh, and he decided, okay, I'll, give, I'll go in two weeks early. I said, okay, and uh, getting used to the altitude, it was a difference, uh, you know. And I noticed it right away. We were told when we come down here to work out slowly into it. Don't give it 100% right away until about the fifth, fourth day. Then you can go all out, and uh, that's actually what we did. And man, it worked out great. You know, he, he's in great, great cardio shape. We're so done with training here at Union Mat, um, Juan Finks' gym, a friend of ours from Mexico City. Some white sparring, me and Luke. Just to show thanks to, to Juan Phoenix, um, some of the people from, from his gym. We offered a, uh, a signing, just the pictures. He was signed for them. Say thank you for letting us see the gym. Un campeón, un guerrero, un gallo, mi gallo. Sí, mandamos saludos a Valeria.
It's like a big ass mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah. yeah. Every night there's like six like big ass ones. So nah. I have to get my sandal, go fucking kill them all, and then go to bed. Nah. <laughs> they have an application you download on your phone. Right. Boom! You don't get mosquitoes. Nah. Yes? Nah. No. No, no. Oh, I want to show you. No, no, no. Mosquito repellent. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's a problem. No more. Gracias. Ven aquí, cabrón. Ven aquí. Ven aquí. Ven aquí. ¿Cómo se Esa se llama Joana, que tiene un año y tres meses. Sí. Y la otra, mira que la otra va a ser modelo ¿Qué? seguro. Mira que guapa es la otra. Qué linda es. Mira ahora esta, la, la Julia se llama. A ver. Está guapísima, ya verás. Ah, qué ah, 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 hermosa. ¿Pelías acá ahora? Sí, el 13 de junio. ¿Tres contra? Va a ser contra Velázquez. Una americana que se piensa que es, que es mexicana. Pero I like, I can use like, <laughs> like it made it better. The um, Bagadero there in Mexico City. Um, I've been there before. I took, uh, took my wife there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Just a uh, famous kind of canal that has uh, these colorful, like, big uh, boats that you get on and take a ride in. <laughs> We wanted to do something where we just kind of relaxed and, you know, um, that was kind of close by from where we're working out at. So, yeah, yeah, we just decided just to uh, kind of relax there. You know, we kind of kept it on the lighter side, of course. Give it a little little try on the uh, on the boat. I don't know what you call it. I, I guess boat pushing. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say steering, but pushing and steering the boat. <laughs> if you fall in, just, just please fall in. Just fall in for us, please. You like him? <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> oh my god, I hope you fall. I watched him. I watched him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>